Hello everyone, welcome to Math Learning with Shobita. Today we will discuss a question from Complex Analysis which is asked in the KSET examination 2024. The question is, if we rotate the point 1 by 2, comma, minus root 3 by 2, 2015 times about the origin through 60 degree in the clockwise direction, then the resulting position of that point in the plane is option 1, 1, 0, option 2, minus 1, 0, option 3, 1 by 2, root 3 by 2, option 4, 1 by 2, minus root 3 by 2. So, how we can solve the question? Let us see. The question is completely based on the polar representation of a complex number. So, how we can represent a complex number in the plane? Suppose x plus i y, x plus i y is a complex number, then it corresponds the point x y. So, we represent x y in the plane like this. y axis, x axis, if it is the point x, y, here it is, this length will be y and this length will be x, this is the modulus of the complex number, say r equal to modulus of z, this is the theta made by the, this line with the positive direction of x axis, so comp Modulus of the complex number z is given by square root of x square plus y square. And x is equal to r cos theta, y is equal to r sin theta. Okay. So we represent, similarly we represent the given point. The given point is here 1 by 2 minus root 3 by 2. So, 1 by 2 minus root 3 by 2, we represent the point lies in the fourth quadrant because here the x coordinate is positive, y coordinate is negative. So, let us represent this. So, if it is 1, here it is 1, 1 by 2 means 0 0.5 here root 3 by 2 minus root 3 by 2, nearly point 8. So, the point will be here. This is 1 by 2 minus root 3 by 2. So, I will draw a perpendicular to x axis, perpendicular to y axis. So, what will be the angle theta you have to find? Okay. This is x, this is y. So, Z first we will find the modulus of Z that is R is equal to modulus of Z square root of X square 1 by 2 square plus minus root 3 by 2 whole square. This you will get 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4, so totally 4 by 4, so this is 1. Modulus of the complex number, here it is. Now let us find the theta. So r cos theta, here r is 1, so cos theta is, is equal to x, x is 1 by 2. Sin theta is y minus root 3 by 2. So theta will be minus pi by 3. Cos theta will be half when theta is pi by 3. But here sin theta is minus root 3 by 2. So theta will be minus pi by 3. So this angle, this angle is minus pi by 3 or minus 60 degree. Okay. So we have to make how many rotation? 2015 rotations clockwise. So, clockwise is like this. This is clockwise direction. Okay. This is the clockwise direction. Now, 
So let us draw once again the figure. Here it is the point. It, uh, the negative direction of the x axis makes an angle 60 degree. So the here now then it will be 30 degree. Or again first rotation. First rotation will be like this. This is totally 60 degree. So this angle with the positive direction of x axis will be how much? 180 plus 60. 180 plus 60, 240. 240. This is along the positive direction of x axis. Okay. So again 60 degree, it will be the point take this position. 180 degree. Okay. So this is first rotation, second rotation. Next third rotation, here it is, what will be this, 180 minus 60 means 120 degree in the positive direction of x-axis. Next, 30, here 30, so will be this position. That is this 60 degree of the positive direction. The positive direction of x axis 60 degree. And this is the first rotation, second rotation, third, fourth. So fifth rotation will be this x axis. Okay, this is the origin. Here it is the sixth rotate, fifth rotation. So this is the first rotation. Second rotation, third rotation, fourth rotation, fifth rotation, sixth rotation, the point lies in the uh, original position. So after six rotation, the position will be the original position. Okay. Now we have to, how many times rotate? 2015 times. So, for every 6 rotation, the point takes its the original position. So, 2015 by 6, you will get how much? 6 into 3, 21, 3, 35. So, 5 reminder, 5 reminder. Okay, 5 will be the reminder. So, after 335 rotations, the point takes the original position. Now, the remaining fifth remaining rotations are 5. So, for five, fifth rotation, the point will be, after fifth rotation, the point will be here. So, what this position, this position is, angle, we have to determine the position of here, how x and y. Here theta is 0 degree. So x will and r is nothing but 1. So x is r cos theta. That is 1. r is 1. Theta is 0. So cos 0. Cos 0 is 0. And y is r sin theta. Sin 0. Sorry, sorry. Cos 0 is 1. Cos 0 is 1. Sin 0 is 0. So the point is. 1,0. Therefore, after 2015 rotations, the resulting position of the point in the plane is 1,0. So, option 1 is true. Option 1 is true. Thank you friends. Please share and subscribe the channel.